We're coming to another edition of Demo Days. Um, today, we are going to parse XML on the stream. And we're going to do it using SQL. A lot of times when you're um, working with XML, the tools that you're using aren't going to really support you know, legacy formats like XML. Um, we do have a blog out there that talks about this. Um, there are lots of existing technologies today that use XML still, and, it's, and XML is, is still enduring in a lot of the use cases, um, especially in legacy systems. Uh, what we want to do here at Decodable is not make that difficult to use. You know, we want to be able to, uh, to integrate a lot of these things, especially XML. Right. Um, and that's what we'll do today. Uh, we're just going to use a, a very simple XML. Um, you could always, you know, extrapolate upon this, this idea to do more things, but the idea is still the same. This is the pipeline we're going to generate. These are two uh, topics, streaming topics that we're uh, that'll, that'll um, set, I've, I've already set up. Everything inside the dotted box is um, not built yet. I'm gonna run a, a, a script right now, kind of just build all that up first. And what this will do is just basically one by one build each one of these things to generate um, the pipeline that this whole flow. Um, it'll build these two streams first. These are streams. They're they're like uh, um, like tables or that that you know they're manifestations of streams as like a table table like structures. There's uh, schemas assigned to them. In fact, the schemas assigned to every component in this flow, and they all snap together um by schemas so that if there's any invalid schemas or or if like the schemas don't match you you won't be able to build this this end-to-end -end pipeline here um so we'll go to the decodable console and this is the account that i'm using and here are the things that i'm building i have two sources let me just start those up quickly Um, I have a source, I have a sync, this will capture the XML, this will, I, I probably named this incorrectly, should be a, a JSON sync, but we're, what we're going to do is transform that XML into JSON, something that's consumable by more modern technologies, right? Um, you could also have the opportunity to change it to whatever, you know, transform it, not just from one format XML to JSON, you could use Avro as well. You could even transform, change, change, uh, um, you know, do some aggregations and and uh, uh, enrichment. This is the the pipeline that I'm um, that I've created. A pipeline reads from a topic or or a stream, and writes to a stream. So let me just go to those streams quickly. So I have one stream called raw. That's your raw XML. And then I have a parsed stream which would be the, uh, the output of the pipeline. So if I go to the pipeline and look at that, you see this consuming from XML raw and then parsing that one field in it called XML, applying these fields. So it's, it's going to name uh, one field called F name and this XPath, if you're familiar with XPath um, or XML, this is just a path to that value. So if we go, go to the blog really quickly, this is the root, X, uh, root node. This is the a child node. So the path goes from parent, child, and to the value. So if you look at that here, oops, parent, child, and the text value of that child, right? And that's what's being assigned to F name. Likewise, the L name here. Okay. So we're, we're just pulling out these values out of the XML and assigning them to these fields here. Notice that this X, this, this path, this, uh, this function, it's kind of an odd function. You, the first value is the field that you're, you're reading. So this, is, this has a field called XML. 
inside that XML column is, is XML messages. And these are like the, the, the label and path that gets assigned. So you need two, you need these pairs uh, subsequently after the, after the field, right? Okay. Um, once I've defined this, uh, this select statement here, and this select, I'm selecting the structure here. This is, so I've assigned this, this alias employee so that I could hold a, like a dictionary full of these values. So inside that dictionary, I have F name, and that value is going to be the output of this uh, X path. And I'm actually renaming the, the, um, the column to be first name. I'm doing the same thing to last name. Okay. It's a very easy, this could get super complex, you know, you could actually uh, um, create a, uh, a, uh, a secondary output, like parsed. You could even, if you wanted to go into parsed, you have now these first and last names. You could build yet another pipeline here that routes information, yeah, right? So if my first name, you know, anything that starts with, you know, A through B, or I'm sorry, A through N, uh, I could take and put it in some other uh, stream. Likewise, the, the second half of the uh, the uh, the alphabet, just route them right um, based on business business logic. Okay. Um, so, looking at this pipeline again, I'm taking data. Oops. I'm taking data from a, a streaming topic, and I'm pulling it in using a Kafka source connection. Okay, and I'll show you that. And that's the source here. In Decodable, we have built in lineage. So this is the type of uh, connection. It's a source connection. It's going to Conf1 Cloud, getting some data. And one outbound stream. This is the stream. So that's this thing, the raw stream. And notice it's schema has only got one field in it. This is that XML that I was showing you. And inside it will be, uh, it's the string value of XMLs, okay? Um, conveniently, I have a, a, a lineage um, you know, button here. I can click there and see what pipelines are consuming um, that stream. And it, it takes me to that that uh, SQL that I just created, or, or I pasted in here. That's transforming using an XPath function and pulling the values outside of the XML, right? And it's going to write insert into this demo day parsed. So if I click that, so I, ha I have my outbound um, stream here, and this is that stream that I created, which is this one. And it has an alternate schema. This, the schema was created by the pipeline. Okay. So if I look at that, I can see that it's going into a sync. Yet it's going back into Confluent Cloud, and um, and it has the same schema as the previous uh, stream. Okay. You can run this entire demo. Um, the next step here would be to just I've activated everything, like I did. Yes, everything is running. So I'm going to create a new terminal. Uh, this is creating the pipeline. This is the, or the flow. And that's just creating each one of these components here. It's going to start off creating the raw stream and the parse stream, and it'll create the two sources. And lastly, creates the pipeline. And that's what this, uh, that's what this is doing here. Um, when I create flow, it runs all of these tasks. Okay, so um, then I'll make active and make all these active. Okay, so it'll just recreate all these again. <clears throat> the starting, just give it a second to start. And let's see. What else did I miss? Uh, so um, 
when you publish a, uh, a message just using this document, this document. So um, let me do this. So this is the I'm printing out the contents of input XML, which is which I'm using as a document to use to send to KCAT or Kafka Cat. Kafka Cat will send that message to a Kafka topic, um, which is being consumed by this this connection here. Okay, um, I open another terminal, following these directions here. Create another terminal to uh, to subscribe to this. Now that's listening to the um, the topic that this connection is writing to. Okay, so to start from the beginning, this XML. Sorry. This is the source. This is the has XML inside it. Uh, click this. I'll send a quick message. Uh, it'll send that uh, XML in here. Here's your XML. This is the contents of that that Kafka topic, and then gets passed to the pipeline, the pipeline reads it, reads the XML, um, pulls out values out of the XML using X -square, X path, um, using and, and labeling them, creating a little dictionary of employees. Okay? So I can just put in here uh, the keys and I can pull that out. And, and here I'm renaming the column to be first name, last name. And that writes to demo day parse. You can notice the, some of that, that, that message come through. And this is the stream. So that's the stream right here. As we move forward, the next step would be to write back to Conf Confluent Cloud, the same schema. Okay. And that's uh, this last message here. I believe that's is all of the uh, yeah all of the uh, commands that I didn't share. So let me just clean this up. Any um, questions here? Uh, quick question. Um, could you just briefly go over again when uh, or like I guess like what use cases you would uh, anticipate seeing with users needing to, to deal with XML in this way, especially using the protocol. Yeah, absolutely. So um, there are lots of use cases. Uh, and I think I mentioned some of them up here. If you're consuming any of these types of messages like SAML, Salesforce's uh, API is still an XML. Um, lots of legacy systems still use XML as a way to communicate. There's really no reason for them to, to change that, um, but it does require a way to integrate um, our existing current, like more modern technologies with it. And a lot of those technologies like schema registries, they only support the newer um, data formats like JSON, Protobuf and Avro. Um, they almost never you know, support XML. So you need a way to transform that data so that you can get it to some of these formats and and um, and allow the rest of your your you know architecture the infrastructure be able to use it right um, and when you do that when you write something it's always have to be done in some like you know programming language like Java or Scala or or go, uh, you know, .NET. It's always some language that you have to compile and then put into some, you know, CI/CD and, and and unit tests as well, right? And then when you run it, um, when you deploy that, you got to monitor that in like like a pod or Kubernetes or something. Um, 
in this use case, we're using SQL and we're using Decodable's um, stream, streaming platform to do it all. And so we, I didn't have to do any of, uh, of that. I didn't have to write code. I didn't have to you know, build uh, XML schemas out of the objects that I created and transform them into another kind of object. All of that is built in using uh, SQL and the XML XPath function um, built in uh, uh, Decodable's um, streaming platform. Does that answer your question? Absolutely, thank you. Okay. Um, just really quickly, this is the dot environment uh, file you should uh, set up and create that. Your, your Decodable account, the bootstrap server for your Kafka uh, cluster and credentials. And these down here are your input and output topics. So this is your uh, input topic that contains XML and then your JSON uh, output topic. Okay. And every, all the other commands are here available, but that we make it easy for you here at the, um, the make file. You can just uh, have a few, a few commands to, to type in to have all this run for you. I hope this was uh, super helpful and you found some ideas to use XML in your new uh, use cases and definitely reach out to Decodable if you have any questions. Thank you.